this is Tammy from Simply Scrappers. Um, today we're going to talk about making this really, um, really nice, unique bookmark. But first of all, I want to mention that the reason there wasn't a second video posted yesterday is because we're having an issue with posting any videos over 10 minutes. So I apologize for the fact that we didn't do the second one yesterday. Now on to today. So um, everybody, most everybody reads books, and it's always nice to have a bookmark to keep your place. But it's why not have a really pretty fancy one that you can do yourself. So what we've done with this one here is we've used the craft cardstock from uh, Stampin' Up. So it's a nice, really neutral background. And then we've actually used some beautiful of the Tim Holtz stamps to embellish it. So on the front, we've done is taken the, the craft cardstock. And then I've, what I've used here is some beautiful marbleized papers. And I, I'm sorry, but I don't remember the manufacturer's name, but there's plenty of styles similar to this that are on the market. So it's beautiful. It's got a metallic sheen. It's, it's, I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. It's really quite beautiful. Okay, so then what we did is we cut that just a little bit, just a little bit narrower and shorter than the cardstock, so it's sort of framed like that, and just put it off center a little bit to accent the Tim Holtz stamp. It's this one. It's one of the um, the Regal Flourish stamps, and it's a little crown, which is just a beautiful crown. So what we've done with that one is we've stamped it three times: once with the fired brick, once with the frayed burlap, and once with the walnut stain, and it just and then just set them with some pop dots just off center just to accent them a little bit. And on the flip side, what we've done is again we've taken the frayed burlap with the stamp from the, uh, again with the Regal Flourish by Tim Holtz, just the bracket and we've done that around the sides and around the top and bottom. Okay, And then with one of the stamps out of the uh, Tim Holtz, the Flights of Fancy stamps, we've taken the quote which is, imagination is more important than knowledge. For while knowledge defines all we currently know and understand, imagination leads us to all we might yet discover and create. And isn't that true? When you think about all of the beautiful products that are on the market today, if people didn't imagine them first, such as uh, you know, creative artists like Tim Holtz, these are the results of his imagination, and it's great that he shares those with the world, and that we can then take them to the next level with our own imagination, use them the way that we choose. Then to finish it off, we've just used the Big Bite here, to set a grommet, sorry, to set a um, eyelet through the top, and then fed some, I had some extra, you can use whatever colors you want to coordinate, I sort of used some purpley red to go with the fired brick, and then some uh, earthy colors to go with both the frayed burlap and the walnut stain, and just, you can use whatever colors you like that accent your piece, or, or that uh, coordinate better, and that's what I did, and just uh, fed them through, and tied them in a little loop and over the front, and there it goes, it can hang out the top of your book, to keep your spot. So again, thank you very much for joining us here at Simply Scrappers. We hope you have fun making your bookmark to make your reading more beautiful. And we'll see you next time.